Good morning guys, welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. Good morning Bumblebee. We're here at a campsite in the small village of Kosandere in the mountains of Turkey. It doesn't really feel like the Turkey I had in my head. It's like grey and wet and green. And green. But I think that's going to change because today we're heading south. So let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here and today we're heading south because our new mission here in Turkey is to reach our second point of interest, Mount Nemrut, all the way in the south. So today we're going to be taking this road south towards the town of Erzincan and then this road to see how far we can get towards Elazig. We won't reach that today, but we try to get as far south as we can. It's already 7.30 and we still have to pick up everything, so better hit the road, let's go. We have still some oil dripping here from our suspension and we watched a video recently that you can actually create your own little tool to clean it out. So this is what we did here. <laughs> Yep. Okay, cool. Yep. Cool. So now I'm trying to clean out the dust and the dirt. Definitely some dirt coming out. Hopefully that will be good enough. I actually just tried to plug in my phone here at the back. It used to work all the time, but we had a lot of rain at one point and we forgot to close it. I think it's totally broken now. So we're gonna check our tire pressure as well this morning, just to make sure it's in a good place. What is it normally on? So the front, we're looking for 38 PSI and we are at 35 and a half. So we'll just give it a little bit more. There you go. Easy as that. Ready? Yep. Oh my god. Take only photographs, leave only footprints, and a dry tent outline. I just saw we didn't actually uh, get the footage of the um, cameras yesterday. So the one SD card is nearly full. I can see we have 13 minutes left on this SD card. Oh, on this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're right. We're going to have to stop on the side of the road and like import <laughs> this camera's footage. Okay. Let Let's do it. 354 miles to Mount Nemrut. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> Google estimates 8 hours and 41 minutes. So yeah, we'll see how far we can get today. For us it's probably more like 16 hours. <laughs> I don't know why, but we are so slow. The day can pass like nothing, you know, and we haven't even gotten anywhere. <laughs> well, like I always say, stopping is the whole point of moving around isn't it yeah but i think it's a couple thing as well we slow each other down yeah <laughs> yeah you especially me <laughs> <laughs> but this was a really beautiful place to spend the night nestled in this beautiful valley here yeah i had actually as well a very good night just that my blow up pillow has a hole so i had to blow up my pillow yeah like mine has a hole as well six times in the night <laughs> <laughs> yeah our gear is pretty worn yeah. It was our first time camping for ages. Yeah. yeah. I can't even remember the last time we camped. Uh, when was Maybe it? Maybe in Russia? No, no, Kyrgyzstan. No, Kyrgyzstan. We... <laughs> so yeah, we didn't camp since Kyrgyzstan. Our climate double mattress is just so, so comfortable. If you're a couple, you have to invest in a double blow up mattress for sure they are so so good and yeah. we camped for so long with mm. two single mattresses and they're sliding around moving around and we both end up waking up in the morning in the middle with no mattress so this double mattress is just like oh was such a game changer for our yeah. camping setup yeah just like the chairs the climate chairs i love the <laughs> i love those chairs <laughs> All 
my first fuel up in Turkey. It's time to find out the prices. How does it work? How does it work? How does it work? Do we do it ourselves? <laughs> does somebody help us? <laughs> I have no idea. Everything's always so new. Oh, no. I think there's a fella coming. Some, somebody is coming, yeah. Somebody's coming. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> ah, they have to write down the number plate, apparently. It's interesting. So here it looks like they've got two diesels and one regular. Full. Yes. Full. 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 full, full. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. And the regular is 95. Is that what it says? Yeah. There you go, up to 95 octane. So it's 39 lira per litre. Okay, that's quite 39. a lot. 39. Yeah, 1 pound 20. 1 pound 20 per litre. Uh-huh. So it's, a, it's getting more expensive, hey? Yeah, that is more expensive, for sure. I mean, in Kazakhstan, we paid like 35 pence. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe it's, yeah, it's quadrupled since Kazakhstan. Yeah. Thank you so much. Perfect. Okay. It's okay, inside? Okay. So I'm not 100% sure, but I think I just read on the sign that this tunnel is 14 kilometers long. How is that possible, please? Is it actually going to be 14 kilometers long? I have no idea, but we just saw a sign that this uh, road here is built 2023. So we are one of the first people actually riding it. It's crazy, man. If it is 14 kilometers long, then this is going to be by far the longest tunnel we have ever ridden through. The longest tunnel so far was that one in in Colombia that was I think eight kilometers long yeah exactly and that was the longest tunnel in the Americas whoa look at this this is so futuristic wow whoa, it's like oh. a light show <laughs> 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 okay this is like a really modern tunnel I'm really impressed good job Turkey 10 kilometers it was written up there what still to go I think so wow <laughs> Here it is, finally getting to the end. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> That actually was a 40 kilometer tunnel, guys. We must have been so deep underground there. That's insane. It's so insane. So absolutely insane. Well, we've reached the top of this pass, 2,120 meters above sea level. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, it looks crazy here. Wow, that's Whoa. a view. Yeah, look at the valley down there. Let's check it out, eh? Yeah, it's a perfect little lookout place. I love it yeah. when you get to a <laughs> viewpoint and then there's the perfect little, little place to look out. That's great. Whoa. Uh huh. Okay. Ooh. This is chicken. This chicken and this beef. Ooh, look at these ones. Got the standard bucket of bread on the table. <laughs> so, like, every table here has actually a big bucket of bread. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Perfect. Whoa. What have you got there? It's like a whole kebab, rice, salad, and a giant bit of bread. <laughs> that looks so good. I think this is going to be dinner as well as lunch. <laughs> For all German tourists. <laughs> Ausfahrt. <laughs> So now that we're completely stuffed after our lunch in Erzincan and back on the winding mountain roads, it's time to tell you guys a little bit more about country number 30 on our round the world trip, Turkey. 
So Turkey is one of the world's earliest permanently settled regions and is home to important Neolithic sites like Gobekli Tepe and Mount Nemrut that we're going to be visiting tomorrow. It's also been home to many important ancient civilizations like the Assyrians and the Persians and the Greeks. But the modern history of Turkey has been dominated by the Ottoman Empire which started around the 13th century and that lasted all the way up until the end of the First World War and it actually wasn't until 1923 that Turkey became a republic. So the name Turkey first appeared in Western sources during the Crusades in the 11th century and Turkey just simply means land of the Turks. And it's really interesting actually because the first Christian church in the world is located in Turkey in a place called Antakya and also Santa Claus, Saint Nicholas, was actually born born in Patara in Turkey in AD 300. But the modern day population of Turkey is 85 million and Turkey is home to 19 UNESCO World Heritage Sites and is the fourth most visited country in the world. And I have one more interesting fact for you. Turkey exports 75% of the world's hazelnuts. Can you believe it? So there you go, a few interesting facts about Turkey whilst we're climbing up and up and up into this mountain region. We're just doing switchback after switchback after switchback. Well, there you go, views on the other side. Yeah, wow, Turkey is so beautiful. It's so big as well and all over the place beautiful, you know? You go from one mountain range to the next, to the next, to the next. coming into a super crazy gorge here. Look at this. It's awesome. Stunning views. Wow. Whoa, what a road. Look at this. <sighs> Absolute favorite road here. Yeah, this is one of the most spectacular roads we've ridden in a long time. In a long time. Hello! Who's a big mountain dog? Who's a big old mountain doggy? Whoa, look at the size of his face! Hello! Beautiful, fresh mountain water! Oh yes! Mmm, nice. it's cool, it's fresh, beautiful. Okay. Whoa, tunnel. It's got lights. Ah, oh, little windows here. Oh, look, it's like more tunnels. Whoa, look at this. Yeah. Oh, that is spectacular. Wow. Spectacular. Wow. 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 Wow, wow, look at this one. Really, really crazy. Wow. 41,999.9. We just hit 42,000 miles on the road. Just 
picking up some supplies. Ekmek. Ekmek. <laughs> <laughs> it's our first Turkish word we've learnt. Yeah. Ekmek. Ekmek. Bread. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Can't go wrong with that. It's dinner and breakfast. <laughs> I like the word. Ekmek. Ekmek. Coming up to a giant reservoir now. We actually have to take a ferry to cross this reservoir here. I think the reservoir is called Kebam Baraji. And we read online that the ferry is actually quite quick, just 15 minutes. We will just go there now and check it out and see if we want to take the ferry today or perhaps tomorrow because we saw on iOverlander as well that we might can wild camp here on the reservoir which would be really cool yeah that would actually be really really nice hello hello hi I, uh, oh. <laughs> hi hi it's okay yeah ah, okay thank you ferry? yeah okay okay hello hello the ferry what time 27 minutes. 27 minutes? How many times per day? Uh, 30. 30 Th times? 30 times. Okay. Okay. And uh, tomorrow, what time the first? Uh, 6. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Okay. Okay. Good. First Perfect. One Thank you. Thank you. What do you think? What, do you, um, what should we do? Um, I don't know. I don't Where know. Are you going now it's 4 o'clock. Elazig. Elazig. Elazig, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes Elazig. Elazig yeah, this yeah. way, yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, the ferry is probably just going like in a minute. I think the ferry is just leaving actually. Oh, okay. They'd already cleared everything yes. off. Yes, oh no. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> so we'll have a look and see where these camps are. Okay. And then we'll decide whether we're going to take the next ferry or if we're going to stay on this side for tonight and have a camp. This is an absolutely massive dog. Look how big this dog is. How big are you? Whoa. Okay, so the camp on iOverlander looks actually pretty good. It's like just one kilometer on this little road running along the lake just here. It sounds actually really nice and this place is super beautiful. So we decided that we're going to spend the night there and then take the ferry tomorrow morning. So basically, I think we're just going this way. Such a stunning area though, hey, look at this yeah. reservoir. Beautiful. Wow. Wow, that's pretty close there. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, oh, bash plate. Okay, I think they're referring to here. I guess anywhere here. Okay, not too bad. That is pretty good, hey? So we can actually still see the ferry coming in just there. Amazing view, look at that. Yeah. I'm just cleaning off the oil. It looks like that it's still leaking and it doesn't look very good. You can see here as well, a lot of oil. So I think it's about three or four rides to Antalya and then we desperately have to change the seal because if the oil is dripping on the brake pads, it's not a good idea. <laughs> so Bumblebee was already due to get a service in Antalya anyway, plus possibly some new tires. So I guess we'll just have to add that to the list of things. New fork seal. Happy to live! Yeah, this is a super awesome spot here. 
We can just watch the ferries going to and fro and the landscape here and the water is just incredible. Yeah, at the moment very peaceful, very quiet. I hope it will stay like this over the night. So we will just chill out here for a little bit, try to rest pitch up the tent a little bit later and then tomorrow morning we will take the ferry over to the other side which we can see from here as well it's not far it's not far it's literally like a 10 minute ferry yeah super cool and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time so cool there's a castle over there on an island in the middle of the reservoir so cool.